Hi, my name is Adam here with Craft Music. Today we're taking a look at one of Kawai's concert artist series, Digital Pianos. This is the CA58. This premium piano is manufactured in a satin black, a satin white, or a rosewood finish. This piano is an excellent choice for your church, your school, or for home. The CA58 is loaded with a lot of fantastic sounds. Two of the premier sounds loaded into it are the Shigeru Kawai Grand Piano Sound and the Kawai EX Grand Piano. Beyond those, you're going to find some other grand pianos, electric pianos, strings, organs, and more. We'll take a listen to some of those in just a moment. CA58 sounds fantastic right out of the box, and you can further tailor your sound with the built-in virtual technician. This will allow you to change the sounds of hammer hardness, pedal resonance, string resonance. And you can do this right on the piano itself or via a Bluetooth connection, Kawai's virtual technician app and your iPad, you can do it right on the screen. The key action on the CA58 is Kawai's Grand Feel Compact with lead off. It's a graded weighted hammer action. It's graded. The keys on the left are heavier, and as you play towards the right, they become lighter. This would be true on a grand piano as well. Lead off. During the keystroke, there's a point in which the hammer releases and hits the string on a grand piano, and you can really feel it on the CA58. This instrument's key action is superb, and it's further enhanced by the ivory key touch, which really gives you a confident grip when you're at the keyboard. This instrument features a four-speaker, 100-watt amplification system. Two of the speakers are underneath the piano, which really give you a lot of bass response. And the other two are on the top, which really showcase the brightness of the piano. The combination of these speakers provide the most exquisite sound possible. The CA58 has a lot of connectivity options. For one, you can practice in headphones. There's a headphone port, and when you connect your stereo headphones, the onboard speakers will turn off, and you can practice in private. If you like to play along with some of your favorite pre-recorded music, simply connect your mobile device to the eighth inch stereo input on the CA58. You will then hear your pre-recorded music and the sound of the piano all from the CA58 speaker system. Now let's take a closer look and listen to the sounds and features of the Kawai CA58. On the left side of the instrument are all of the control buttons and the display screen. When you first turn on the CA58, it'll default to one of the two premier concert grand piano sounds. The first being the SK Concert Grand. From there, I can go to the next premiere sound simply by touching Piano 1 a second time. And now I'll hear the EX Concert Grand. The other way I can move from sound to sound is with these back and forth arrows. So if I go one more further, I get the clean jazz, the warm grand, the grand two. There's also some other categories down here. Beyond piano one, there's piano two, which will offer another variety of grand pianos. Then we work our way over to the electric pianos and a variety of those as well. And again, I can scroll through the variety of them simply by continuing to hit that same button or to use the back and forth arrows. After the electric pianos, we take a look at some organs. There'll be some jazz organs and some pipe organs. 
harpsichords and mallets, strings, vocals and pads, basses and guitars, and then these registrations, which are some presets, and they're quite lovely. For example, this first one, S, K, E, X, and strings. So that piano and strings layer was a preset loaded into the instrument that I accessed under the registration button. If I'd like to make my own layer, maybe I want two different sounds, I can do so by touching and holding the first sound I want to hear, in this case electric piano, and the second sound I want to hear is right down here, and now I've got electric piano and choir. I can create a split by touching the split number one button. In that case, I had a split of an electric piano and a wood bass. I can change those sounds by using these up and down arrows again. Maybe I like my electric piano, but I'd really like a different kind of bass. Maybe an electric bass. I arrow down to highlight the wood bass and scroll through to finger bass. I can record myself playing, simply by touching the record button. Now I've armed the piano to record, it's not yet recording, but it'll begin recording one of two ways, either by me then touching the play stop button, or to simply start playing, it will begin recording immediately. Now I'll touch stop, it saves my recording, and I can listen back. It's that simple to record. When I practice, I like to practice with a metronome to help with my timekeeping. On the CA58, that feature is built right in. It's right here under metronome. So I'll touch that button, my metronome begins, and if I hold that down, I can then see the metronome parameters that I can adjust. My beats per minute, the time signature, and the volume of the metronome. CA58 comes loaded with a handsome variety of pre-recorded piano music for your listening enjoyment. I can access that music by touching the button right below the word music, number three. There it is. There's the demo songs. I can scroll through. There's piano music. There's also some lessons built in there right here and another unique feature called Concert Magic. Let's take a listen to some of the pre-recorded piano music. So there I've got piano music highlighted, and I'm going to touch number two, which is Enter, and here comes Bach Air. Beyond the pre-recorded piano songs, you're also going to find some built-in lessons that correspond with popular lesson books. I can access those lessons by highlighting lesson mode and then touching enter, and there they are. My first few selections are by Alfred. Some Alfred's children's books, some Alfred adult books. You're also going to find Bayer, Bergmuller, Cherny. Uh, there are arpeggios and scales and Hannon and really quite a good variety of lesson programs built right into the instrument. I mentioned earlier that there's a built-in virtual technician in this piano, and sure enough, that's what the VT is for. I can access that by touching button number one. Now I'm in the virtual technician. I have two options here, the smart mode or the advanced mode. The difference between the two is the smart mode kind of has some presets. It'll give me a brighter sound, a darker sound. It'll give me more resonance or less resonance and just some standard setups that I might prefer. If I'm more particular about what I want to hear, that's why I would want to enter into the advanced mode. And I can do so by highlighting it and then hitting enter. And right here is where I can get more specific. For example, the touch, normal, light, light plus, or off. I think there's a few others this way too. Sure, heavy and heavy plus. If I scroll down, we can start looking at voicing. Normal, mellow, mellow two, dynamic. Dynamic is particularly interesting. Not only does volume change when I play hard or soft, but so does the timbre of the note. 
Uh, when I play lighter, of course, it's quieter. It's also a little bit of a darker tone. And when I really hit hard, not only is the note louder, but it's also brighter. I personally really like that dynamic. It's pretty cool. Other features I can manipulate, damper resonance, damper noise, string resonance, undamped string resonance, cabinet resonance, key off effect, fallback noise, hammer delay. There's really quite a lot of parameters that you can adjust. Of course, I can adjust these parameters right here on the piano, but it's really quite a treat to use the free Kawaii Virtual Technician app and my iPad. So here we are with our iPad. We've made the Bluetooth connection to the CA58. We could connect with a USB cable, but in this case, we're wireless via Bluetooth. We've downloaded the Kawaii free Virtual Technician app, and we're ready to begin making changes to our sounds. Across the top, you'll see all the parameters that we can adjust. And across the bottom are all the ways in which we can adjust those parameters. This first one is the touch curve. There's settings for whether I'm light-handed or heavy-handed. And you'll hear the samples trigger back at you differently, whether it's set to a real light touch. I hardly have to touch the keys, and the sounds really come alive. I happen to be a little more heavy-handed, somewhere between heavy and normal. If I select heavy and touch the keys with the same velocity, you'll notice they're not quite as bright. I really have to dig in if I want that brightness. I'm more of a normal player, so we'll just leave it right there in the middle. Next will be the voicing, and this will allow me to create a more mellow piano or a more bright piano. There's also damper resonance, damper noise, and a few others. Here's a useful parameter a lot of customers ask about. It's the top board or the lid, whether it's all the way open, all the way closed, or somewhere in the middle. Once I've made all the adjustments to my liking, I can save that as a user preset by touching the star icon right there. Current setting, add to user preset. Here we go. And now I'm going to, I can rename it, A, B, and we can go ahead and apply. And now I've saved those parameters as a preset. As you can see, the Kawaii Concert Artist Series CA58 is an outstanding digital piano. If you have questions about the CA58, feel free to contact us by phone, email, or live chat. My name is Adam here with Craft Music. Thanks for watching.